Hey guys, it's Steph. Welcome to my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. Today's video is going to be a set of questions that I've compiled over the past few months that have been left on various different videos from my subscribers and well, probably people that aren't subscribed, but just from people who have watched my videos and had additional questions um, revolving around us moving to Ireland from America. So I thought it would be a good idea. I've just over the past couple of weeks just took time to jot them all down. I do try to respond in the comments to the questions, but I thought it might be nice to, to just put everything into one video and answer a few questions. Okay, this is a good one for me. <laughs> I think it was cute. What stores are the most similar to Walmart and Target? Okay, first of all, there's is nothing quite like Target to me. Um, But okay, so there's Dunn's stores and that's a grocery store, but usually like it'll have like a second level if it's in a shopping center. And the second level will have clothes, shoes, home stuff like bedding towels kitchen stuff and you know pajama section some purses shoes i said shoes but and it is handy and it is good and i appreciate it but it's not quite the same as target like the shoe selection wouldn't be as good the clothes wouldn't be quite as cute or trendy um the home stuff is pretty good though i guess the selection would be a slight bit smaller but the prices would be pretty comparable which is cool then there is mr price which could be a little bit comparable to walmart um they have things like cleaning supplies beauty stuff outdoor stuff a little bit of food small toy section it's good for like if you're planning a party like party decor gift bags cards um some kitchen kind of utensils and stuff like a if you needed measuring cups or kitchen scissors or new set of tongs and they're pretty affordable so that's what that's good for and then there's pennies pennies has um mainly you know clothes uh you know socks underwear pajamas shoes and then a small home section with like towels cute little pieces of decor stuff like that and so that's a little bit comparable to target and walmart um it's definitely really affordable and I do like pennies. Sometimes the quality, you know, is a little questionable, but like for the price, you kind of can't complain, but it's a little bit more of a gamble when it comes to the quality compared to like maybe if I was buying something at Target. But anyways, yeah, that answers that question. Why does it look like I'm driving on the left side of the car? I'm sure most people know, but in Ireland, they drive on the other side of the car than they do in America. So we drive on the right side of the car. It looks like I'm driving on the left side of the car because I have my camera. Um, in the settings, you can switch it to mirror image so that it looks like how it does when you're looking at your camera, looking at yourself. If that makes sense, um, when you use the front facing camera on the iPhone and then you go back to watch what you recorded or look at the picture that you take, it inverts the image, it flips it. And like, honestly, and I'm really not even too embarrassed to admit this, but I like the way I look better when the Im image is mirrored. So yeah, everything looks like, you know, kind of flipped. So that's why I do it. That's why it looks like I'm driving on the other side, but I am indeed driving a, you know, Irish style car, um, you know, a car that's, on, it's not just Ireland, obviously, but where you drive on the right side of the vehicle. Do our kids have Irish or American accents? Our kids have American accents. So yeah, they came over when they were just turning about five and eight, basically. So yeah, they, they're well established in their speech and stuff. So yeah, unfortunately American. I would love if they had little Irish accents and maybe they'll pick it up. Sometimes I have people say um, here in person or I've had a couple comments on my videos say that they notice the girls, maybe even more so Molly, maybe because she's younger, that she is picking up a little bit of an Irish accent. So yeah, that would be cute. How is the healthcare system? Um. So maybe I can do a separate video just for this because it's not that long of an answer, but I'd like to give my experience and stuff and I don't want to take up five minutes of this video. I do need to go to the doctor. I take medication for anxiety. That's something I need to keep up with and I visit the doctor periodically for that just to check in. It's, it's an important question. I mean, especially if you are seriously thinking of moving over, then it's something that you would obviously have questions about. Just for the sake of keeping it simple in this video, I have not 
had any problems. I'm not disappointed. Do I think that it's like the greatest system? Probably not. There probably is room for improvement and stuff, but I'll just leave it like with a really simple answer like that. I have had my anxiety medication situation. I also had a lump on one of my breasts that I had evaluated basically. That whole situation and the few visits that I went through for that went pretty smoothly as well. So I can't complain overall. What is the diversity like here? That is a fantastic question. I do not feel the absolute most qualified to answer that. Um, a couple things, I've only been here for a year. Um, I'm a stay-at-home mom, I'm not in the workforce. Maybe I'm not getting out and experiencing enough. Um, sometimes where you live also will play a part of it. Obviously different cities or towns might have different diversity. I will say this, I chose to put our daughters in a school that is more diverse because that is important to me. And I do think over the years, the diversity has increased, but I, I can't speak for the lived experience of people that um, like are not Irish and are living here. Hi, it's editing stuff here. Um, I felt like I was trying to be so careful about answering the question about diversity because it was just, it's something that I don't want to um, speak upon and say something that's wrong or answer uh, in the wrong way. So, but I did just want to hop on and say I'm reading um, What White People Can Do Next by Emma DeBerry. I hope I'm pronouncing her last name right, but she was born and basically raised in Ireland. She did live a few years of her younger life in the States. I think by the time she was like five or so, she was back living in Ireland, but she does describe her experience as a black woman um, growing up in Ireland. I am only about a quarter of the way through. I keep hopping around books, but anyways, but I just want to say that she does describe feeling um, like, at least at the very least, a sense of feeling othered. So I do think it's important to know this book is a good book to read if you are interested. I also follow like a couple accounts on Instagram of black women that live in Ireland who um, kind of share their experiences and talk about things of that matter. And yeah, and I do, I do think it's an important question and something that's important to think about and learn about. So I just wanted to add that in. Do many people have pets in Ireland? I would, I think a lot of people have pets. I feel like you see people walking their dogs like quite often when I go for a walk on the beach, there's often many dogs being walked on the beach, um, even just in our neighborhood. I do think that people definitely have dogs for sure. I guess I can't say as much for cats, but um, yeah, I'm sure people have cats, but yeah, people have pets here. We'd like to get a dog eventually too. I want a little dash hound because I had one growing up and he was just like the greatest. So we're just kind of waiting. Obviously they're a big responsibility and uh, we're holding off for now, but we would really like to get one within maybe a year or so. What county are we in? We are in Dublin. How did it work with customs declarations? I must have got this comment on the video that I did. What did we bring with us to Ireland? And I kind of described the method in which we shipped things and like what we decided to bring. And the company that we went through, they sent my husband's the my husband's <laughs> they sent my husband the forms and he filled them out and he sent them back and that was that. He said it was easy and straightforward. If you're interested in any more things about like shipping and what we brought over and stuff, I have a video on my channel where I explain what we did and our experience. I also linked the company we used in the description box of that video. What appliances did we bring with us or what did we do with our appliances, like kitchen appliances, um, I think they mainly meant, and we didn't bring any of them. We didn't have anything that was like we had spent like too much money on or anything that it was like too hard to part with anyways. The nicest kitchen appliances we had, um, well I'm assuming they, I guess I'm talking about smaller appliances. We definitely didn't bring like a fridge or oven or microwave or anything like that because we didn't bring anything that large anyways. Um, but yeah, as far as like, I don't know, blenders, toasters, um, air fryer and stuff, we didn't bring any of that. Um, like I said, we weren't like too attached to anything besides we did get, have, just get a Ninja foodie that we probably only had for like eight months or so. And we did really, really like that, but because of the outlets being different and not wanting to fuss with like using an adapter all the time and stuff, um, we just decided to, I think we might have gave that to my cousin, I'm not sure, but we didn't bring it. And then, yeah, we had like 
nothing else that was like that expensive or important that we felt like we really wanted to have with us so it wasn't really a big deal that we'd eventually have to repurchase it anyways because living at my parents-in-law's house we have all the stuff we need anyways and then when we rented when they were here when we rented during the winter that home had everything we needed as well obviously the um plugs sockets are different in europe websites to see properties and school ratings um i don't know about school ratings but if you go to myhome.ie that's where you can have a good browse of like what's on the market like what's going on over here houses for sale um also daft.ie well i'll put the right thing there i think i'm saying that right but that is good for i don't know if it's house purchasing but rentals like we've browsed like rental options too and my husband said he prefers daft.ie for um looking at rentals but anyways on myhome.ie you can look at what schools are in the area and i don't think it gives ratings but i do think it's still helpful obviously it's nice to see what schools are in the area how many you know what they'd be like in relation to the house that you're viewing but also they say what type of school it is which would be important to me. So there is like Catholic and religious schools, but there are also Educate Togethers, which are um, non-religious based. And so that'll give you a good idea. Like if you have a preference between which one of those two that you're looking for, it will tell you, you know, you'll get a good idea if the one that you were hoping for is in the area that you're hoping to move to. How much does it cost to move all of your stuff over? Again, I have a video on my channel. I will say what we paid. It was in the 4,000s. My husband doesn't remember the exact figure, but I want to say like right around 4,300 or 4,500. And that was with moving like a crap load of our personal belongings, but nothing large, like no furniture at all. Not even like a smaller piece of furniture, like a side table or something, like nothing like that. You can check out that video if you want to know more details on that. How old are our kids and how has the transition been for them? Like I said, they are, well, now they're five and eight. They each had one birthday kind of right after we came over. They, their birthdays were falling into that time period. They have handled the transition like a dream. Like, I don't know if it's a combination of things, if we're just kind of lucky. I do think their age is helpful, especially my younger one, because she had only done a little bit of preschool, her preschool um, experience was quite interrupted because of COVID. So she didn't have like any established like friendships really like for her age and for her school situation. And then my older daughter had done a few years of school. She had just finished second grade in America. So she did have some good friends and like some kids that like she'd definitely miss, but she made friends so easily here. Um, and the school's really great. Like the class in particular, it seems like the kids all get along like exceptionally well. Um, I don't know if that's helpful too, but they've both fit in really well. Like, I mean, no complaints, no hard days, no specific things besides obviously missing like my parents and some family and stuff, of course. But overall, I mean, that's to be expected. Um, overall, besides that, like it's just went so smoothly. My husband's family's here. So it's nice for us to be around them. And it's, you know, it's not like we're in like a foreign situation where it's all brand new. We visited here before family, friends. Um, it's just went really well. I don't, I guess I don't know what else specifically to say, but I'm really grateful. You know, it, it would obviously be totally understandable if it were challenging for any one of us, you know, um, of course, there are its challenges, things that I miss about America, but yeah, I couldn't really have asked for a better, smoother transition for the kids. Um, our experience choosing a school. Now, I'm only speaking for myself. I just don't really know how it is for other people, but we got lucky and got our girls into the school that we wanted the most anyways, because they happened to have space for us. I guess the, the bottom line is like, you know, you apply to the schools, in your area and you know you choose what out of the ones you get accepted to you just choose where you'd like to send your kids but you might have one that is your strong preference but they might not have any open spots for your kids and so you know that could stink if you were really hoping to get into that school and then yeah I don't know I would imagine there's like a wait list every school would probably have a wait list and you could just wait and try to get in but yeah that's about all I can say. It's not like America where you'd move into your house and you'd have a designated public school system and you would have a designated school that's your 
public school that your kids are designated to. What restaurants slash stores do they have that are the same in America? Okay, I don't know that I'm gonna be able to rattle off everyone, but like not that there's that much, but they have TK Maxx, which is like TJ Maxx, but it's funny, it's called TK Maxx. Um, there's Zara. I mean, there's a lot online these days, you know, like, so yeah, maybe there's some stores here that you could shop from online in America, you know, but so I guess I'll just mainly touch on the ones that you could go in person. Yeah, TK Maxx, Zara, Foot Locker, Diesel, like Guess, Hollister, there's no Abercrombie right now. I think there used to be. I, I would like it if there was one. There is Aldi as far as food stores go. Um, restaurants. There's TGI Fridays, but I, like I wouldn't be in a rush. Actually, so one day we were going to the shopping center and there was one like right across the road from it. And for convenience mainly and stuff, we were gonna go eat there. Although I wouldn't, I wouldn't really go out of my way normally to. But the prices were like crazy. Like it was like, I don't know. $22 for a chicken Caesar salad or something like they were just I don't know and for especially like if you're an American like no offense to TGI Fridays and I'm not necessarily picking on it but like for the food that you get and the quality like I, I wouldn't think that it's like quite worthy of that high price tag um Nando's they didn't have any Nando's where I lived in America but when we did briefly live in the Washington DC area there was at least one Nando's in the area. Yeah, but they're really big and popular over here. McDonald's, Burger King, KFC, Starbucks. That's about it off the top of my head. Sorry, I maybe could have like researched and thought about that one for a little bit longer, but yeah. This one's quick and silly, but someone asked, did I get used to the rain? I've actually been somebody that like, I, I kind of like the rain. Like I kind of like a good rainy day. But that being said, obviously like too frequently would get annoying. But I don't think it's like, too bad here to be honest so i'm not really like annoyed at the frequency of the rain but i will say like it's cloudy often like we don't get enough sunny days and even like sometimes like actually looking at my instagram feed there's like a lot of sunny pictures but like even those days where the sun was out when i like took that picture or i was at the beach or something it doesn't stay out for very long like i can only remember one day in the past year that the sun was out like all day, like from morning till evening, really. So anyways, I wish that the sun was out a little bit more often. Okay guys, that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any further questions or anything else I can elaborate on. I kind of like doing these videos. I mean, it's just simpler, like you ask me the question and I answer. If you like this video, please hit the like button. And I would also really appreciate it if you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.